What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today is probably a very exciting day for a lot of Apple users because iOS 8 is officially out now for you to download and update uh, your iOS device. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to properly install it or how I would recommend you to install a new major update like iOS 8 onto your device. Now before we do begin, iOS 8 is available uh, for some devices, not all devices, and those devices including the iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, 5C. Now along with the iPhone 8 is going to be available on the iPad 2, iPad 3, 4, iPad Air, iPad Mini, and iPad Mini with Retina display. And also if you are an iPod user or an iPod Touch user I should say, uh, it is available for iPod Touch 5th generation. So if you have an iPod Touch 5th gen, you'll be able to update as well to iOS 8. Now there is a few ways to install iOS 8 right now on your device. Uh, one way is to simply go ahead and go into your settings and do an over the air update. And what you would need to do is go into general, go to software update, and then you'll be able to install and update to iOS 8. Now, if you're going to be doing this method, uh, which is not the method that I recommend, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi, of course, and you will have to have some storage space available so you can install iOS 8. Now, this is probably going to be around five or six gigs if you're doing it over the air. So I would recommend doing the clean install method. So you'll be able to do it this method by simply hitting download and install. But like I said, I don't recommend doing it this way. What I recommend is doing a clean install and I'm going to show you how to do that clean install. So first what we have to do is go ahead and get on our computer, plug in our iPhone or iPad or iPod touch. And from here, go ahead and open up iTunes of course. Be sure you're on the latest iTunes. Uh, so right now iTunes 11.4 is available. Uh, so go ahead and update to that so you won't have any type of issues. Now what I recommend beforehand is go ahead and back up your device. Uh, that is one of the things that I highly recommend every time you're doing an update. Go ahead and back up your device just in case anything goes wrong. And now the next step is simply we're going to go ahead and do a restore iPhone. Uh, do not click on update. Uh, the reason why I always do uh, restore iPhone on major updates like this is because you're going to be updating to a whole new uh, iOS firmware and the best route to go is go ahead and restore it and the reason why it'll help from causing any issues or anything like that it'll basically start from scratch like if you've just gotten a new iOS device and it'll get the best performance from your device so go ahead and back up your device like I said uh, either to iCloud or your computer uh, backing it up to your computer would be the best route it will be the fastest route because iCloud, you do it over Wi-Fi and it has to sync all the data if you have a lot of data saved on your device. So go ahead and back it up. Once that is complete, uh, we'll simply hit on restore iPhone. Now here it's gonna tell you that it's gonna restore and update and basically erase everything on your phone. So be sure to back up your device. By backing up your device, it will save your camera roll. So all your photos and videos that you have stored in your photos application and also it will save your text messages. Your contacts and everything will be linked to your iCloud account, so all you gotta do is uh, sign back into your iCloud and you'll have your contacts back. Or if you have them saved to your email account, again, you'll be able to restore them back like that as well. So like I said, once you have it backed up, let's go ahead and hit restore and update. And what it's gonna do now, it's gonna be searching for the latest firmware update. So here is iOS 8. Now iOS 8 is gonna have a lot of new uh, improvements, a lot of new updates, um, a lot of things uh, going on in iOS 8. Now if you haven't watched any of my past videos, uh, I'll leave a link down below and it actually goes through a lot of features. Because I've been running the betas for the past couple months since they announced iOS 8 back at WWDC. So my quick recommendation is yes, go ahead and update to iOS 8 if you are running uh, iOS 7 right now or even of course iOS 6. If you're running iOS 6, I don't know what you're doing. But go ahead and update to iOS 8 because it does have a lot of cool features, a lot of useful features like interactive notifications, which is my number one feature that I use a lot on iOS 8. So here we'll simply hit next. We'll agree to the terms. This will download your software. Now depending when you're doing this, it is currently going to be bogged down with a lot of people trying to download at the same time because it just got released so you may have a long wait time so mine here for example says three hours so depending on your internet connection as well uh, that'll depend how fast it downloads but of course right now 
uh, depending at the time you're doing this at. If you're doing this on release date, which is September 17th, um, you will probably have a long wait time till you update. So my recommendation is try again later in the evening or the next day. That way you don't have to sit here and wait for hours and hours just for it to download. Uh, because like I said, there is gonna be a lot of traffic right now. So just be aware of that. Um, try again later. So once the file is fully downloaded, uh, it'll go ahead and start extracting the software. And basically it's just a waiting game here. Um, let it do its thing and you'll be good to go. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this video. Um, it will take about, I would say five to 10 minutes for it to fully update. And once we're done, we'll go ahead and proceed with the video. So in this process, you will see your phone or your iPad or your iPod touch, go ahead and prepare the iOS 8 update and you will see the plug into iTunes screen. And now it's just gonna basically be waiting for it to restore. It's gonna be communicating with the Apple servers. So once the device is completely updated to iOS 8, you will see the hello screen or the hola screen. If you're Spanish, we speak Spanish. Now here you'll simply go ahead and go through the steps of putting in your Wi-Fi connection and then you go ahead and locate services, all that good stuff. Uh, simply the same things that you always go through. Now on this screen, it's gonna ask us, what do we wanna set up our iPhone as? Do we wanna set up as a new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup, uh, or restore from iTunes backup? So this is the step where you wanna go ahead and restore from your iCloud if you backed it up through iCloud, or if you backed it up through iTunes, which is what we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit restore from iTunes backup. And then here I will select on my iTunes screen, uh, restore from backup. So this is the latest backup which I did today and hit continue and this is gonna restore my iPhone. Now depending on how much data you backed up, how much data you had on your backup, uh, it will take either a couple minutes or a couple seconds, um, maybe several minutes, maybe like up to 45 minutes if you had a lot of storage or a lot of data um, on your device previously. So mine didn't take that long because I didn't have that much uh, backed up on mine but now it is going through the process and going ahead and restoring all my settings, my text messages, my photos, uh, everything like that. So it will take several minutes, if, like I said, if you had a lot of photos, a lot of uh, data and everything. So just be patient. Now, as you see up here, it is gonna be syncing the apps if you went ahead and backed up your applications as well to iTunes. Um, and now we'll again get our hello screen and it will say we completed the update here. So we'll hit continue and we'll continue by going ahead and sign into our Apple ID here, which is gonna be our iCloud, setting up our iCloud here. We'll hit agree, agree one more time. And now it's gonna be updating our iCloud settings. Now here we're gonna go ahead and use Find My iPhone. That's something I highly recommend. Now if you're gonna be using iMessage on FaceTime, this is where you'll select uh, where you wanna be reached at. Whether you're using uh, emails or your phone number, go ahead and select which one and deselect which ones you don't wanna use. So we'll go ahead and hit next because all this looks right to me. And here we'll go ahead and set up Touch ID if you have Touch ID, which is gonna be on the iPhone 5S and also iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Now I'll do that later, um, just for the sake of this video. Um, and then you also create a passcode if you'd like. And now you get the welcome to iPhone, iPad, or iPod uh, screen and we are officially on iOS 8. We went ahead and did a clean install, which is what I always recommend, like I said. Uh, and the way you'll know you're on iOS 8, you do see, of course, the new health application here, which is gonna track a lot of health data. And then we will have our Passbook app here, which is a new icon. You can see the little credit card section up there on the top, which is gonna be for the new feature called Apple Pay, which is gonna be available on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, using NFC technology that's built into that. Uh, and of course here I do see the tips application, which is something new on iOS 8 gives you tips So you can start learning on the new uh, features and things uh, Or you can also watch my videos, which I'll leave linked down below in the description Now there also is going to be a new little wallpapers here If you go into your wallpaper section, go ahead and choose new wallpaper go to stills and you see these are going to be the new iOS 8 wallpapers uh, They look very fancy. I really like this one. This is nice also um, I really like these other ones here. This one's cool. But yeah, I mean, you're now officially on iOS 8. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think about iOS 8? Have you been using it? Uh, or what are your biggest features that you are looking forward to? 
Um, like I said, there is various videos that I've made in the past, uh, in the past couple months, giving you all the latest features on iOS 8. So feel free to check those out if you want to learn more about iOS 8. Now, if you would like me to make a kind of brief rundown of all the new features or a couple of the top features uh, in a future video of iOS 8, leave a comment down below saying you'd like to see that and also hit that like button. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video on how to do a clean install uh, or a proper install of iOS 8 on your iOS device. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It not only shows support to the channel, but it tells me that you are enjoying the videos and you did enjoy the video. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, all of my links are down below. So you can go ahead and uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and Instagram. Uh, now, if you do want to contact me or ask me a question or just have a little conversation, um, tweet me or follow me on Instagram. Those are the social networks I'm mostly active on. Also Facebook. Uh, but go ahead and follow me on those if you'd like to go ahead and contact me and let me know what you think about iOS 8 on there as well. Also, if you're new to the channel and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos covering either iOS 8 or the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus because I will be getting those at launch, which is going to be uh, on Friday, September 19th. So depending when you see this video, uh, more than likely I already have those in hand and I'll be releasing a video pretty soon. Uh, but anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all on the next video. Alright? Peace!